Okay, so how's everybody doing today? Um, we're starting a new series here, and this is just going to be kind of our, our series about rebuilding our backyard tracks. This first episode is going to be um, us showing you everything that we have, all of our trails, that kind of stuff in the backyard, and just kind of showing you everything. And then um, tomorrow we'll be back, and we're going to start building, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys then. Okay, so we're starting here on the landing of the finish line double and as you can see it's all roughed up like this is where it was before and like this is where it is now and so yeah we're gonna have to build this up back up to where it is so you walk down through here and there's some roots and stuff we're gonna get rid of some rocks but then you get to here. This is a river pretty much. Like, we've ride through this the whole time. And this thing's like six inches deep. And it's the whole way through the turn. Starts back there, comes all the way up to here. I guess the dog's joining us today. I tried to build a little trench here, but that didn't really work. It only got some of it out, but it comes all the way. Dug out. So we come through here, clear these leaves out. We got, we got to get all these leaves out. This is like a foot of leaves. And then here you have the option to go left and spin it around there. And go back down that way. That's pretty sketchy. Or but... jump, which is sketchy. Or we can come this way. This all needs cleared out as well. Then we have this right here, which turns you back that way. This thing's deep too. And it's just like the other one, it goes on forever. So we'll just come down this way. And take you back over towards the jump set. to this big double. This is about 20 feet, in between 20 and 30. And it's pretty sketchy, but you have a big run up, about 25 yards, and then you hit it. Okay, so here is where the other track branches off. We have two like main tracks and any other trail we just mess around on. So you come up here, you gotta fix this rut. It's all snowy and wet. I was riding. We made like all these ruts. Probably wanna get some of these bigger roots out. This one's pretty hard. You have to stay to the right a bit or else it'll spin. Your back tire gets caught on it and you have spin. So, here, if you don't have good enough momentum, you can just go right and then turn left down the big hill. 
But if you're down good, I stay to the left. But I guess you could go right of this route and hit this gigantic one. And these trails are actually a lot steeper than they look. Yeah. The GoPro flattens it out a little this, bit. This is almost like straight up. So it's there's rut all the way up this. And then these things always get you messed up. Especially if you're going the other way. This one right here, it pokes up and you'll just it'll kick you right over the here before we made this trail and they're starting to grow back because we haven't been riding because of the 70 group. So, so I don't know if you can tell but we are up here pretty high this is a big hill and these trails go all along the side of it. So then you come to the left and a lot of people just skip the ruts but I like the ruts because it keeps it lined up for the trail. Over here, if you block up the back brake, you'll just slide. But if you're in the rut, there's traction. Then you come down here, give it a little wrap over this. This is our sled riding hill, actually, also. You come down here and jump this thing. This thing's massive. Me and my friend Daniel, the farthest we've ever jumped is to like here. When we built that up on sled rides, we'd come down and descend this thing. So then you come over here and just drag it into the rut. Then you go crap off the double. And that's the other turn. Okay, so this trail is up on the second track. You come up the hill, then you turn left here. Then we have this trail through here, which is just pretty much another way to get to the top. And, um, and on through here. And right here is where you head down to get on the hill. There's the second track, and the other one is up there. So they all kind of connect somewhere. This one's also very flat. So it's fun to practice, like doing your wheelies or anything on here. That has a bunch of leaves and stuff on it that we're going to have to clear out though. Then lastly, it comes through here. And these are a couple bridges that we built so that we could get over where the water came through because there's a creek here that goes down there, so our main one. The water rides through here, and it comes down through here as well. We used to just ride through these, but it it felt like it hurt a lot on it your hurt suspension. A lot of water and get stuck. So right over this way, I started a trail, but it only goes to about there. We're going to try to make this another trail. Or maybe even another track. And then we come down this way. The creek runs right here. <laughs> Ruben is a perfect example. So we just kind of come down through here. This gets wet sometimes, though. It's like a yeah. And then this here is just another bridge that we built and it leads out into the yard. So for the trail that we were thinking about adding, that comes up over there and it would come down through here where the dog is and it would ride through here and we have this little swamp area here so we'd have to jump that. So that would come to about, it starts to get wet here. And then we'd have to jump from here over to there and then it'd head sort of where that wood pile is. We'd just have to head through there and then we'd be able to make another track somewhere around in there in that area. So I hope everybody enjoyed and we'll see you guys tomorrow with, um, with episode two of uh, Spilling the Trails.
See you guys.